In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very interesting slide that can be beneficial for both teachers and students. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've added four icons of lungs, heart, stomach and the kidney here. And when I click a magnifying glass will come here and by default the size of the lungs or the icons will increase. And on the top you can add your the title and the detailed text. So let me just show you how it works. When I click you can see a, a magnifying glass of uh, the size of the icon increase and then you can add the title and the detailed text here. And upon my next click it moves to the next icon. You can see uh, the heart, then the stomach and the kidneys so let's see how to do this in powerpoint and i've used uh, morph transition for this particular tutorial and this is available only in the latest version of powerpoint add a new slide and change the background of the slide by right mouse click go to form and background and you can give uh, some light color here some light gray color then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size you can take it shape outline you can make it black and you can increase the width you can see here you can increase the width maybe you can make it uh, 10 then align center align middle and here i'm going to select the color white and make it transparent you can see here you can make it transparent something like this now i'm going to insert one oval shape go to shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline you can make it no outline and you can give some gradient fill so i have used three stops here so i'm just going to give some uh, gray color here you can see here and here in the middle I can give some light gray color and here also I can just give some more dark color so I have taken the type as linear you can see here and you can just select this one maybe linear right now once this is done you can just select this one go to format and send this to back then go to insert shapes I'm going to add one more shape which is uh, I'm going to add this one you can see here rectangle top corners sniped so I'm just taking this much you can see here and you can just increase or decrease the size maybe this much shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give the gradient fill but here I'm going to use some dark colors so let me just use black color here and on the side also I'm going to use the black color so this is kind of a magnifier now I want to give some more glass look to it for that let me just insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white you can see here because you cannot see let me just uh, make it uh, somewhat dark so that you can see clearly you can see now and then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one circle hollow again draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key reduce the width and i'm going to cut only this part for that first of all i'm going to make it no outline you can see here then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle just bend it and add one more again this also you can bend it something like this and only this part i'm going to keep it so first select this hollow circle hold the shift key select this one merge shape subtract and again hold the shift key select this one and merge shape subtract and this also you can give a white color and you can just put it something like this here you can see here just to give a kind of a look for the glass you can see here you can make it less transparent also or more transparent up to you you can think of doing something like this and if you want to give more effect you can do one more thing also let me just duplicate this one you can see here shape outline i'll make it no outline 
and I'm going to give a gradient fill. So gradient fill, I'm going to use only two colors. The type, I'm going to use radial and direction, I'm going to use this one. So one stop, I'm going to delete it and select one stop and make it white color or gray color, whichever color here. And here, let it be white or sorry, black or you can make it or dark gray color. You can see here select this one the white and make it fully transparent you can see here this also you can make it a more transparent and move it something like this you can see here then i'm just going to bring this and just put it here so that you can see here it gives more kind of a effect let me just bring this to front this and this i'm going to bring it to front so you can see here I've added this magnifying glass. Now after the magnifying glass, you can add the icons or some images to it. Now I'm going to select all of this. You can see here, press Ctrl G to group it. And then go to insert icons. If you don't have the icons, I have provided uh, in my previous tutorials a complete list of icons. You can download it for free. So I'm going to scroll it down and then I'm just going to take some body parts. Let me just take this heart, lungs, kidneys and uh, maybe a stomach and just click on the insert here. You can see here and let me just bring this outside and the height and width I'm going to make it 0.7. You can see here and the graphic field, you can just give some light gray color. And then I'm just going to put one here. You can see here, let me just put the one. I'm going to put it here. The one, one more, maybe here. You can see here I've added four body parts here. And then what I'm going to do is let me just select this one and move it outside of the slide area. You can see here. I have moved it outside of the slide area you can see and then I have added the icons here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this slide right mouse click and just say duplicate the slide and select this one bring it here you can see here on exactly on top of this then select this one change the color to any color of your choice maybe I can select orange and I can increase the size to 1.25 or I can increase to 2 also. Let's see if 2 is bigger. I think 2 is fine. So I'm just going to keep it here too. And then go to insert text box. You can just say kidneys. Make it bold. I'm going to make it century gothic font. Increase the size if required and you can add the detailed text below okay so you can just add your detailed text center align so you can see here this is my second slide the second slide go to the transition and select the morph one you can see here something like this the only thing is what you need to do is you have to send this to back okay select this one and just send this to back if it is not visible clearly then let it be front not a problem also so now what i'm going to do here is you can go to the transitions and the time you can just reduce it to maybe 0.25 so let me just play this slide now when i click you can see here it comes very fast so if it is 0.25 is very fast, you can make it 0.50. It comes something like this. You can see here. Then I'm going to duplicate this slide. Press Ctrl D and I'm going to select this magnifier. I'm going to move it on top of the lungs. You can see here. And the size of the lungs, I'm going to select the same thing. I'm going to make it two you can see here the color i'm going to give this one and this one again make it the same gray color and the size i'm going to make it as old one the previous one 0.7 again put it exactly here and then this kidneys and this one i'm just moving here 
and I'm going to just rename from kidneys to the lungs you can see here so let me just play once again you can see here this is kidneys then the focus goes to the lungs likewise again you can just duplicate the slide again select the magnifying glass move it to the heart and then again this text also you can move it and just rename it to heart and then you can select this this one again give a orange color the size i'm going to make it as two you can see here and then this one i'm going to make it 0.7 and the same light color i'm going to select this and just put it exactly in its position and you can do one more slide duplicate and you can do for the stomach so let me just play from the beginning you can see here when i click the magnifying glass goes to the kidneys then next click goes to the lungs then the heart and you can add stomach or if you have got more options also you can do that That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.